this video we'll continue with some basic commands that are helpful in creating an article in LaTeX. In the last video we left off with changing the font of the document. Now we'll talk about how to add footnotes or endnotes and floats which include tables and figures. To add a footnote anywhere inside your document you simply need to use the footnote command. And we have the open and close curly brace as we have become accustomed to. And any text that we type inside those curly braces will be put in a footnote at the bottom of the page. So for example, I could type a sentence, end that sentence with a period, then right next to the period I've got my backslash footnote command, and I could type the footnote. And here's the result. My sentence is right here. Then I've got a number one signifying the footnote that gets put at the bottom of the page here. And notice by default, it gets put in a smaller font. We could easily change that by simply typing backslash normal size inside the footnote command. Now we see that the footnote is larger. You can continue adding footnotes throughout your document just like this and LaTeX will keep track of what number footnote you're on. Now let's say you want to do endnotes instead of footnotes. One option that you can use to do this is to use the footnote command as we've just seen but then add the following package to your preamble use package endnotes then right under that type the following code backslash let backslash footnote equal endnote this command will change all of your footnotes to endnotes. Now the last thing you need to do is find the point in the document where you want the endnotes to go and type backslash the endnotes. And when you compile that, you'll see that instead of creating a footnote down here, LaTeX creates the endnote in a section called notes. Now let's say you wanted to change the spacing of the document. For example, I've got some text here that is single spaced because that's the default in LaTeX, but what if I wanted to make it double spaced? First thing you want to do, go up to your preamble and type use package set space. And if you wanted to make a particular block of text double spaced, you could type begin double space where you want the double spacing to start and then backslash end double space where you want it to end. You can see when you compile that, it creates double spacing in that area. You can also create one half space this way. Simply just type one half space and one half space instead of double space. and the result you get is one half spacing here. Now let's say you wanted a particular type of spacing for the entire document and you just wanted to deal with it once and forget about it. Instead of doing it as an environment like we've done here, 
could go up to the top of your document, maybe right under the make title command, for example, and simply type backslash double spacing. That will double space the whole document. Now another useful command that is somewhat related to spacing is the quote command or the quote environment which allows you to do block quotes. Let's say I had a block quote that I wanted to set off with its indentation and with single spacing in a document that's otherwise double space. So I'm going to copy this a few times. So here's my block quote. If I simply compile it without doing anything to it, here's what I get, just a normal paragraph. I can use the quote environment to do the indentation for the block quote. So notice that sets the quote in an indented block, but it's also still double spaced because I have the double spacing command at the top of my file. So I'm going to type begin single space right before begin quote and end single space right after end quote. So now my whole document is double spaced except for this block quote which I've told LaTeX to put in single spacing.